Michael, thank you. Just one day after Democrat Kirsten Sinema became the senator-elect from Arizona to fill Jeff Flake's seat, the focus is back on who will fill the seat behind John McCain after his death. It's our big story on 12 News at 6, and Team 12's political insider, Bram Resnick, is joining us live to verify some of the scenarios that could play out. Bram? There's a lot of speculation that Martha McSally will be rewarded with a Senate seat despite losing. We verified three possible Senate scenarios. I'm willing to serve certainly through the end of this session. Last September, Governor Doug Ducey picked former Republican Senator John Kyle to fill the Senate seat left vacant by John McCain's death. But it doesn't look like Kyle wants to stick around past the first of the year. That gives the governor a second chance to fill the McCain seat until the 2020 elections. We verified three Senate scenarios. I just called Kirsten Cinema and congratulated her on becoming Arizona's first female senator. Republican Congresswoman Martha McSally's on the sidelines after losing a bitter Senate race to Democrat Kirsten Cinema. But McSally could get the call from the governor to take over from Kyle, her former boss. Then she would run again for the Senate seat in 2020. Here's Senate scenario number two. Under Arizona law, Governor Ducey could appoint himself to the seat. But if he did, the Secretary of State would get a promotion to the governor's job. There's good reason for Ducey not to do that. He might give up Republican Party control of the governor's office. Democrat Katie Hobbs is now favored to win the Secretary of State's race, the number two job in state government. That brings us to Senate Scenario 3, one that Republican sources say is likely. Ducey appoints a Republican woman, but it's not McSally. The thinking goes that McSally might have a tough time winning an election for the seat given her bruising midterm. But the midterm's lesson is women candidates are doing well. And that Senate race in 2020 is the election required by Arizona law to fill the rest of John McCain's unexpired six year term. That term ends in 2022, so there will be an election for that seat again that year. And finally, a third Senate election in the next six years in 2024 for Kirsten Cinema seat. Live in the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram, thank you.